Hello, how is Facebook, yeah. YouTube? How are you guys doing? So I am Rabin here. You can see we have Nazim here with us and Alberto and Fahim. So Nazim hey and hello everyone. Fahim is from the WP Guidance team, which is basically WP Commerce. And our host side, I I am Rabin. Of course, I don't have to tell my name so many times. And Alberto. So in Alberta, it's actually early morning and for Fahim and Fahim and Nazim, the time is about 8 p.m. in their local time. My time is about 10 p.m. in local time. So if you are here, please drop by and say hello. Okay, I say hello to everyone. <laughs> What happened to Azim? There he is, he's coming back. Okay. So, Nazim is basically handling all the marketing and content side for WP Guidance. And Fahim is actually also a content writer and have a very deep understanding of the product itself. So. What is WB Guidance? It's basically a system to actually give you a choice to filter out choices for your e-commerce product, but it can be other things as well. So, wow, he looks so much better now. <laughs> okay. My camera. Hi, Jadeep. Let me see. Nothing better stick to the camera. Fronted tambo camera. Uh, we are in live, Fahim Bhai. We are, we are in live, please. Uh, hello, okay. hello, hello. Yeah. Hi, Fahim. We are on live. So it yeah, is already yeah, yeah. Uh, going on yeah. on Facebook. So I have given the introduction uh, to uh, Nizam and Fahim. So if you don't mind telling us the story of WP Guidance. So what, it, what I mean by story, the story is where it came from. So where the idea came from or, and what inspired you guys to make this product? So I will ask um, Nazim to explain, uh, not explain, to tell us the story about this product. So Nazim, you can go ahead. Okay. Uh, first of all, uh, I'm introduced with me. Uh, this is Nazim Khan. I'm the Chief Marketing Officer of WB yeah. Commerce. I got the opportunity to collaborate with this company. This is plugin actually is awesome. In my career, I noticed that social media engagement is really helpful to grow any type of WordPress or plugins company. That's why I would like to discuss with WP Guidance that is wonderful plugin for e-commerce store. This plugin really helps to grow any kinds of e-commerce business. WP Guidance is a basically e-commerce uh, online store plugins. If you want to, if you want to uh, increase your customer, or if you want to increase your conversion rate, that's that's uh, that's why you need to you need to plug. In, uh, you have to need this plugin for your e-commerce store. Thank you, thank you, um, Nazim. So we are going to have a look at how it can help in the process of improving your business. So ultimately, what it does that it makes it simplify simplified process for your customers to check out and give them an option or a process system to get it done quickly. So, of course, this means more money for you because the faster people will check out means they are going to make more money from their store. So that is the core story of it. And <clears throat> of course, to go about it, uh, I will invite Fahim and, and, and Nazim yeah, to yeah. explain the process. So when you are ready to share the screen, um, sorry, before we share the screen, uh, Nazim, please tell us a little bit more about WP Commerce, that where they came from, and you know, uh, the company backstory, uh, like Shine by and uh, how how they are. Okay. They came Do about it. Okay. WPCommerce.com is our mother company. We have a several kinds of uh, products like uh, Dark Loop. WC is the WP Guidant and uh, and so on. So WP Guidant is a e-commerce e-commerce plugins and we have also several kinds of e-commerce plugins WC is the. 
So W Garden is uh, made for only e-commerce store owner who has been a e-commerce store or who has been e-commerce business. Okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, mm -hmm. when we when we created these plugins, we thought that we want to develop or we are we want to increase every e-commerce store owner business conversion. We want to develop their business. We want to uh, we want to increase their conversion rate. Because when any e-commerce store install or use our WP Guidance plugins, this then he will get uh, he will get increase he will get increasing their uh, sale their support because our intention is all uh, audience purchasing below. Our ultimate ultimate goal is audience purchasing below. When when any e-commerce store uh, owner use this plugin, then the, their audience will easily buy anything from their e-commerce store because we have a several kinds of filtering system guide system and so on thank you thank you thank you uh Nizam. i think now we are ready to dive into how it looks like and how it works out so fahim will be the hero in this so fahim the stage is yours so you can share the screen and i can bring it up on the screen for everyone uh, well, now I'm going to show the process of uh, using basically WP Guidant. So, yeah, I'm going to uh, sh show this. You can share the screen, then I can bring it up just okay, like now, this. Nice. Yeah, I have shared the screen. Is that? Yeah, it's already on the. Oh, well. Well, uh, this is our WP Guidance plugin landing page. So, uh, first of all, we understand what are the features of our core features of our plugin. So, in our website, there are some demos uh, which has shown the process of uh, how the plugin works. So, first of all, uh, we can use uh, this demo. So, we have several kinds of demo there. So yeah, in our website, just only one demo. Okay. So basically, this is a, a filtering process. This is a e-commerce or e-commerce filtering process. So first of all, as we can see, uh, uh, we can choose three different types of cars. For example, we need a mid-range car. So select uh, this one. Click on next. As you can see, there are uh, different types of options like brands, like Ford Focus, Mini Copper. These are different brands. So you can choose your desired one. So I choose the Mini Cooper. Well, click on Next. So it asks us that what type of service we need on this car. So we can choose GPS system. So click on Next. So it ask, uh, finally, it asks us uh, uh, to provide our uh, personal information such as name and uh, email and numbers, phone numbers. So after filling this uh, uh, form, we can finally click on the request car rental. So through this process, it basically uh, makes the customers purchasing or getting any uh, inform getting any service. It makes them to get their service more fast and more flexible way. So, I so, will... uh, so if I want to say that this yeah, yeah. is actually funneling down the choice, will that be correct? That, yeah, it's okay. mainly, uh, it's mainly, yeah, it's mainly filtering process or funneling uh, down the whole process. Right, right. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Alberto, you so, look like you have something yeah. to ask. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I had I'm mute. Um, so. Is this a custom post type that you're showing us with uh, cars, or is this just a simple filtering question created within WP Guidance? Yeah, I'm going to show you in backend how this guide was created. So let's okay. see that process. Well, uh, we have visit, we have come to our WordPress dashboard. So this is our WordPress dashboards. Uh, now we are we will create a guide basically to uh, show this guide on our website so this is our wp guidant uh, main uh, interface so let's create a guide basically so yeah this is create new guide section first of all we need a, we need to 
uh, we need to give a name of our guide so we choose shopping for the guide name as a guide name uh, let's add a title of our guide so we can use this title find your favorite t-shirt uh, basically i'm sh showing you the uh, how to find clothing more easily from uh, the WooCommerce stores so i'm showing the process that process so uh, we uh, provide the uh, guide title then we will uh, you know we will fill up the guide descriptions so let's set our guide descriptions please provide us more information about t-shirt well now click on the create button Well, as you can see, our guide is created on our uh, dashboard, uh, plugin dashboard, basically, all guide sections. So we will uh, place that guide on our website. So first of all, we copy the short code from this section. As you can see, it's copied from here. Then we will go to our website. So for example, we choose this page. It's a demo page or gui name guide. So we'll paste this short code and click on the update button well let's see how it looks on our website uh, this is uh, this is how it looks so we will add we, we we need to add more information about our guide so we have to prepare our guide based on our product information so we'll do that in next sections make so, it make a filter make a filter yeah so we need to add filters so this is our guide Sh shopping named so let's create filters inside the guide so click on the minus filters as you can see there are no filters because we didn't add any filters so we have to add that so let's create a filter uh, in our guide so click on the create filters so here we have to first because this is our first filters because we will add more filters based on our requirements so we can give a filter name as a filter number one then uh, we need to add the title of the filter it can be a specific title so we choose that type we can type we can uh, type the name uh, type of the t-shirt right well and in the description sections uh, we need to add more informations okay so select your desired t-shirt sorry this mistake these are t-shirts so uh, okay we fill up all the uh, information now we have to choose the filter type so what type of filter we want to create so basically wp guidance has three different uh, type of filter filter uh, creation system so first of all we can choose the card filter basically the filter selection process will be depend on the user so he, he will choose the filter based on his uh, requirements so we choose the card filter so this is the card filter and uh, uh, we uh, card type so what type of card we will choose so there are two different type of cards we can create on wp guidance so we can choose the checkbox there are also radio uh, card types so let's click on the create button as you can see uh, we have created the filter on our guide one filter so let's see how it looks Basically, this is uh, this is the guide, and this is the filter of our WP guide or guide. So the entire guide filter. This is the filter. So we have to prepare this filter more uh, with more information. So let's back there uh, back uh, into the dashboard sections. 
well in the filters we can add cards so uh, let's click on the manage card section as you can see there are no card yet we didn't create any card so click on the create new card button here uh, options shows that we have to fill our card information so first of all uh, as we are creating a guide for t-shirt searching process so t-shirt filtration process so uh, first of all we choose for example we choose full sleeve sleeve t-shirts and uh, uh, we will uh, choose the card descriptions so select the shirt type basically t-shirt type well now you we need to set a picture for this a specific card so let's add a picture for this card click on the select image so it's a full slip t-shirt so we already added image of uh, full shape t-shirt so select that and select well you, uh, you you have to set card condition because you are uh, retargeting the audience from uh, uh, a specific category of your product product category basically so we, we need to select the card conditions so we didn't add any condition yet so yeah we have to add that so create a new condi a new condition button uh, uh, select the attribute so uh, basically we create the filter for a specific product category so we need to uh, select that so it's a woocommerce product category basically so we we uh, we select uh, the product category from this sections okay the product category, this is the product category and uh, we matching type we can select equal and uh, uh, basically this is the uh, value section so we have you have to select value based on your site requirement so yeah uh, cl finally click on the create menu well let's see how our uh, let's see yeah well uh, i have to uh, uh, i have to show i have to show uh, i didn't save the filter so i have to show uh, show the process again so well we selected we selected full sleeve then we selected the uh, select the shirt type then we selected the uh, images then uh, click on the save chains okay yeah now that was the condition part so yeah let's see yeah well our card is added so let's add another card because uh, card has lots of uh, different items so yeah okay let's create another card we can set the name half sleeve because it's a t-shirt filtration process so uh, let's select the shirt type and uh, select the card image it's a half sleeve so we already added the image on our database so yeah select that image and uh, here is the card condition menu so as as well as is a product category so yeah create finally uh, select matching type and value section okay wordpress settings so click on the create button let's get back to all cards and uh, we have added two cards for our filters so let's see how it looks on our live site okay let's refresh the page okay uh, as you can see here uh, we have added on uh, it shows that on uh, card so let's edit this and prepare it for our proper filtering process so uh, let's 
edit the second condition because second condition is not visible so we have to edit it again uh, half sleep and uh, well uh, basically we have to press the save changes button uh, i forget that i'm sorry for that mistake okay uh, let's uh, save changes so yeah we now have added, right maybe yeah, yeah yeah it will show i hope it will show yeah, yeah. as you can see uh, there are two different options we added so if a customer can easily choose their uh, type here so we can choose full sleep or half sleep so we can add an uh, lots of filters so we can add another filter to show you uh, the uh, uh, filtering process basically so let's get back to our uh, dashboard uh, this is our dashboard so let's create another filter so we, we need to navigate the filter sections because we are in the card section so filter section is there so let's create another filter for the next step of our guide so create another filter this is the filter so we for example we will name the filter because it's the second filter so the filter name will be filter two so uh, uh, we we can uh, for example we are going to create a color filtration process so we can uh, title you can, you, you, you can even create a filter for color or yeah, price yeah. range or anything yeah, else yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. okay yeah. i'm i'm showing you the color filtering process so choose your color. desired color. color so this is the title and uh, we will set the description so select from here and uh, it's a uh, another filter so we can choose it for uh, filter type so yeah this is a card filter so we are going to create a card another uh, another card filtration process so we can choose the card and uh, it will be same as checkbox okay so finally click on the create button as you can see there are uh, our uh, another uh, filter added on our dashboard so let's uh, edit the filters let's add car more cards on the filter so we didn't uh, uh, have any cards on the second filters so we have to create a card so let's create a card well so first of all uh, this is a color selection process so yeah first of we can uh, set the color as red because it's uh, the card for red color so yeah uh, choose the color well select image so it's a red t-shirt so yeah we can choose it select the red color and uh, for same as we need to set a condition before that we have to set we have to save changes yeah let's set the color con card conditions basically uh, it's already took our previous data uh, data because we have set that earlier yeah so let's click uh, click on the create button well well we have we created a card for red color so we, we have to uh, we obviously have to add and add more colors basically so let's create uh, let's follow the same process and create more cards for more colors so yeah uh, let's create a card for blue color and uh, select color okay you can set the description uh, based on your requirement i'm setting uh, uh, descriptions yeah so let's choose the color card image so it's a uh, blue color t-shirt filter so we choose the blue color by the way we added the image previously on our media library so you have to add the image on you have to upload the image on your library so then you can easily 
I add these uh, images. So yeah. Okay, this is our uh, card. So click on the save changes button and uh, click on the card conditions as well. Create a conditions and uh, it's a match equal and uh, it's for WordPress settings. Below section should be WordPress setting and create. Finally, click on the create. Well, yeah, we have added another card for color. So let's add uh, finally let's add another color so okay so real quick back to the other part value you left blank so should we add anything to the value or just leave it blank yeah the, we have to add the value uh, for that conditions value should be uh, basically value would be the t-shirts for example we are we are creating this guide for t-shirts so we have to choose the t-shirts category because uh, it will take the data from that category so okay so okay hello do you have yeah me? yeah okay. yeah this okay this I, the process. I, I, okay okay uh, yeah Albert, so, yeah, you, you can you uh, can you can create any kinds of filter like you you need uh, several kinds of color you, you you can pick any color like blue red anything you can yeah, pick yeah. any kinds of uh, color system like big b neck or a round shape or polar t-shirt anything then after that if you have a like a budget only uh, five to yeah, if, if you have a budget fifty to one hundred dollar okay then you can you can select from them like. Uh, also you can create this kind of filter from here yeah so let's add the last uh, card on our uh, filtration process so yeah uh, we will choose yellow color and uh, art condition as well as choose the color because we have okay choose the image it's a yellow t-shirt and uh, the card conditions let's get uh, there uh, create a new conditions so as well as it's a product category and matching type, it should be equal. It's a, so uh, the value uh, as well, uh, we, have, we explained that, that the value should be your product category. So while you are uh, sending your uh, customers, so yeah, the, we are basically create, uh, creating the filters for t-shirts. So select the t-shirt value. So, so while we're here on this screen, um, we have the product category for WooCommerce, but you can do this with custom post types, right? With Metabox or with ACF, or is that not possible? Yeah. Can yeah. you can you use custom post type? So, for example, uh, you have attributes right on top, so it says product category. So, yeah. can it be something else like uh, my custom post type? Or it, uh, need, it need to be WooCommerce. That's yeah, the it's basically it's it's it's, it's uh, the uh, uh, attribute should be based on the product type because uh, I'm filtering the product category. So, um, so be. what Albert asking that if it is not WooCommerce, right? If you scroll up, you can see yeah, some yeah. other things is there. There are also WordPress. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. There yeah. are also yeah. other options for WordPress uh, right. based. Yeah, yeah. So this, uh, of, these are, these options are for WordPress and the second option are for WooCommerce. So it's right. as option for WooCommerce uh, price, they're not sure. Uh, then, if you scroll uh, down, yes. if you scroll yeah, down, yeah. there is something else, post metadata and custom fields. Oh, right. yeah, no, yeah. no, 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 no. It, like it's, uh, sorry, it's irrelevant. It's not uh, related with this WP Guidant. WP Guidant is only filtering system. Like we develop mm -hmm. a filtering system. You can filter anything, any kinds of sector, any kinds of industry, any kinds of product. So if you have a WooCommerce store, you can filter in any kinds of uh, product. Like already Fahim said that, uh, like mm -hmm. uh, color, price, anything. Or if you want to buy a uh, car, like you need to buy a car. So what kind of car do you need? You can car like a Honda or Toyota. So Toyota, mm -hmm. what kind of Toyota brand? Then Toyota, like like uh, x Corolla, Freemio, or Alien brand. Like, man, okay, mm -hmm. you, you, you select the Alien brand. After that, which color do you need? Red, gray, white. Okay, then you can select the red or gray color. After that, how much do you budget? 
so you can you, you have a budget like yeah, we'll uh, add that twenty thousand uh, dollar like just for example you have a budget twenty thousand dollar so you have a budget twenty twenty thousand to thirty thousand dollar you can select from there just we made it filtering system not everything and when yeah. a, uh, when when a audience or when your customer uh, do filtering everything uh, where, what they desired when the what they, it, they desired they they, they they will they will be very comfort they, they their purchasing uh, journey wa, wa, will be very comfort and very easily okay yeah but so what i'm saying is it doesn't look like it's limited to just woocommerce it looks like you can oh, use it for both it's sides basically you can uh, use create, it for uh, it's also yeah. create forms and uh, other uh, it's basically uh, uh, rather than woocommerce it also create a forms filtration process rather than it's almost uh, entirely uh, focused on woocommerce basically on the on, on the yeah. other hand you you can you can collect the lead maybe you have to, you have an idea about lead like you, you, you if you have a if you have a plan to uh, marketing so you can collect lead like email their yeah, name yeah. their number everything anything but you can you can you can add this function in our plugins okay yeah. So, yeah, so okay uh, so uh, uh, let yeah. me simplify this okay sure sure please uh, so i i go in so when i come to cart settings i can okay. choose woocommerce product category or i can choose woocommerce yeah. tags but i cannot choose for post type or product uh, sorry post type or post category am i correct you, you you can you can you, you can do it okay you okay. can, so that is but, what, but, uh, but but also also you can you can uh, you can uh, see our landing page uh, we have we have a several kinds of demo please fine please uh, show the demo uh, our yeah, template yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah i'm i'm showing you okay please. yeah sorry for interrupting i mean if you want to finish yeah, this yeah, go at least, ahead. Uh, no, 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 please, please fine. finish it's the fine. filtering yeah it's okay okay let's finish the guide for pro creation process so yeah, this is okay. our... After, uh, Fahim, after complete the guide uh, section, please show the all template. It's yeah, yeah, I will show that. All... Yeah, I will yeah. show that. No then, problem. Uh, maybe then they will uh, clear about yeah, the plugin. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's okay. Okay, let's click on the save changes. So, we have added three different colors for our filtration process. So, let's see how it looks on our live site. So this is our first filter. So we, we uh, first of all, we need to refresh the page. So, okay, this is our first filter. So let's choose half sleep uh, next, then choose the uh, color. So as you can see, our filtration, pro we have added the cards on this, uh, on the second filter. So these cards are showing- Albert, on... do you understand that? Do you understand it easily, properly? Yeah. Okay, let's choose the blue color. So it will show you the uh, say uh, show you the exact products that you have chosen that you have chosen the half sleeve and blue color. So it will show the half sleeve and blue shirts that are available on your store. So uh, we will show more live demo uh, to uh, to elaborate these filters more uh, uh, extensively. So let's see go there. So okay, this is fine, our... fine, fine, fine. Listen, listen. Albert maybe uh, will confused about that. Why your product is not available show here? Because of you have you online you store have not available this product. That's yeah, why yeah, this is yeah. not available. But yeah. if you have a if, if if your online store is available this product like blue color and this range, then it will be show. Yeah, yeah it will show exact result. Uh, you mean the product variants, right? Yeah. 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 This is our demo yeah. side. That's why we have that's why we have not there, available so... product here. Let's uh, see uh, our other filters. So we have we have. Uh, okay, why, see... why not? Why not you go to the real estate? Okay, let's uh, go to the real estate uh, filtration process. So this the uh, we clicked that from our demo sections. So as you can see, there are options for uh, uh, basically uh, find. Uh, yeah. So let's choose uh, what type of. Uh, home basically uh, you can filter uh, ex uh, exact home that you want to buy or rent so let's rent let's choose the 
a buy section and click on next so we base uh, for example we want to buy a home buy a house so right click on the next so now you have to decide do we want to buy, buy a house or a flat so let's choose house click on the next this is the interesting one you can also uh, uh, choose the specific price that you want to purchase that house so what's your let, budget range right yeah you yeah you can only set your you... budget range uh, yeah. on these sections so it's basically okay let's uh, our set, uh, range, uh, set our range budget range you, so you can increase and you can uh, you, you can reduce and increase any kind yeah, of budget yeah, what do you yeah, want yeah yeah that's it so yeah okay. let's uh, let's uh, see what next so click on the next this is our budget range so uh, the result will show those homes within this range so click on the next so how many uh, rooms do you want to do you want in your home so this another fascinating one so let's choose two room, uh, three rooms we want three rooms in our home so in our house so let's click on the show results well as you can see it finally shows us the result this is our exact what we want this is the result exactly what we want uh so and then so this is not woocommerce so this is a, a custom post type i take yeah right? yeah 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 that's, so yeah, this, that's what i was trying to was oh okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah that's uh, what i was trying to maybe say. maybe albert is understanding right now right uh, uh, so okay. yeah this is alberto was asking so if we have custom post type can we do the filtration on top of that means yeah. i have let's say something um let's say my my hotel rooms right so yeah, yeah, yeah. can yeah. i do the filtration that this size of hotel room yeah then uh, then this uh, i want this glamorous one or i want the cheap yeah. one basically show me yeah this thing. you can you can you can, you that. can you you have that. To, fine please let me explain you can you can do every kinds of filtering from your uh, backend from your wordpress online store not from uh, front side okay so you, you know, hotel your hotel size your room size anything else anything what do you want what do you want to what do you want your audience you can filtering system anything from your e-commerce store already fine showed everything how to make a guide how to make a filter system how to make customize like card system uh, slider system anything so you can do from back end okay that's it yeah you can uh, use it based uh, alberto, on your requirements uh, alberto is maybe understand right now no no he understood yeah. he understood yeah. at the very yeah. beginning okay okay okay, okay. Uh, okay. So, uh, i think the is in between this kind of things happen you know lost in translation so uh, basically what we wanted to know in, including alberto is that whether it support custom post types or not and it seems it does that is why i asked for real estate because yeah, definitely yeah. real estate example even i'm not going to the real estate example i already know that it will be custom post type yeah yeah so, yeah that's that's uh, it so th those are the things that comes with experience means i have to know beforehand or suspect that that type of product will not be in woocommerce unless it is a modified woocommerce so exactly that is what alberto asked and we got your uh, yeah, we got yeah, the yeah. example done right in front of us yeah. so okay, those okay. who are in the stream they might have some questions and i knew that this is this will be a follow up question that sam sammy sam is also our friend and uh, being in the ltd community for very very long time and know about these kind of things so sam's question is whether you can actually do the booking or not so in my understanding you can actually do the booking because when you reach this point they help guide and help you to do the funneling from yeah, there yeah. yeah you go to the next step means how you want to process your booking that's up to you right yeah, it's entirely up to they are filter the user because he, he right, can right. They make it, down. it based on your demand so yes so now when you find this this uh, house like 150s grove ave elgin yeah, yeah you yeah. click here view then you complete your booking process right yeah you do not start the booking process at the beginning 
Yeah, right. it will redirect, redirect him or yes. him to that uh, booking what, page. Uh, he is asking though, he is asking yeah. whether there is a widget for this or not. Uh, there this, is. Uh, uh, you know, you can put it on a sidebar that, you know, find in this range, right? Uh, currently, we didn't have any widget. Okay, okay. Yeah, so do you have a plan for this? Means like. Yeah, we are, uh, we are. Uh, updating it so we will add that uh, widget section uh, on the plugin uh, in future okay not, so not, not, not in the future it's, it will update in the, as soon as possible maybe within this month oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. it will have happen right. shortly oh that's good that's good uh, so i just want to say hello to a few of the people on the stream so i saw um i saw tawid uh, tawid is also from dhaka if I'm not mistaken, Sam Jason Sam is from Toronto. Uh, I think Toronto, Canada. Let's uh, 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 leave the uh, screen, screen sharing. Uh, yeah, I can. I can turn it off. Okay. Uh, there you go. So uh, I will highlight some of the questions. So this was the actual question that came from Sam. Can we do booking, which I have already answered? Widget similar to form booking with images. So there is there was his question. So I will go through the questions from this point to the question that Jaydeep asked. So what I will do, I will surface this question. You guys can see the question on the screen. And um, so I think Nizam already, uh, sorry, Nazim already explained that it is coming up, Sam. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the yeah, widget yeah. system. So I'm going to go to the next question. Yeah, so this sure. is from Tawid, Tawid also from Dhaka. Um, what is the uh, concept? Uh, we need something like this in the LTD marketplace. So it might help choose the right. Actually, he's right that it can help do the funnel of who, which are the product you need, right? right. That, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, that's it. It's a, it's a very good idea, actually. So I, I would say in future, when you update the product, create a demo on these type of things. Like I'm a small business. No, okay, first filter. How big is your business? My business, two person business. My business, 50 people business. My business, 100 people and 1000 people. Right. You choose the filter, right? Then the next yes, is, yes. how much is your budget? So let's say a certain amount, right? Then it will yeah. show, you can buy this product, this product, this product. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, Software, right? Software, yeah. so it can be done with WooCommerce, I already know. So, <laughs> and then it can help people. It can help people in a sense that they can funnel down according to their business needs. Because it not is, everyone yeah, needs also, enterprise software. Uh, for it helps them basically I, I would to like find to, their... I, I would like to, including with this, with you, uh, with this piece, like if anyone use the filtering system in their business, then, then their audience, uh, their audience will comfort every purchasing system right mm -hmm. and they they got highly conversion from their business am i right because because okay. because yeah. everyone everyone desire everyone uh, everyone thought is different everyone need filtering system when he see uh, is it's properly uh, easily he can buy anything pro easily and and the online online store uh, online store owners they increase slowly but surely the conversion rate Yes, that is one of the largest part of it to yeah, do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, with this program, is there any way to take an input and then do a calculation like one plus one equals two? And if the answer is two or above, choose this product? Again, again, Alberto? Uh, is, is there any way to do any calculations? So if uh, you ask, uh, 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 basically thing. no, uh, it's uh, okay. It uh, doesn't have that calculation system in this filter in this guide system. So we'll add that uh, in future. We are uh, basically we are updating. We are try to add, uh, add try to include new features. So we'll add that. Okay. okay so I'm going to the next question. So this like somebody says, uh, "Hello, I like the plugin. Does it work with other plugins like Tutor LMS?" It's an LMS plugin, Tutor LMS. And 
EDD. EDD is e Easy Dig Digital Downloads. So these are very well-known plugins. So they are asking if the, this will work with no, work with them or not. Uh, yeah, yeah. This uh, this plugin is uh, fortunately this uh, very nicely work with Tutor Elements and EDD. Okay, nice. So Jadeep RDR asked, uh, this work with any industry? So uh, Jadeep, I think this uh, from this point of time you have already figured out that you can actually put whatever you want to put that can be filtered so yeah. if it is anything that you can put into wordpress that can be filtered and have the metadata you can filter it using wp guidance and okay this one i will let you guys answer because i do not know the technical specification is there any character limit in the filter section uh, basically there is no limit uh, you can uh, any uh, you can use based on it, his requirement okay okay so the next question will be how about compatibility of widgets with elementor and dv builder so um, yeah yeah basically it's compatible with elementor or DV, uh, dv builder but it's compatible that compatible process works with short code not widgets because we are we didn't have widget system so we so like this it. is my follow-up question from this that are you guys planning to do blocks or uh you know uh, gutenberg gutenberg blocks that will you know more visual rather right, than right. going through so many steps yeah yeah we'll yeah. add that we'll add that uh, functionality okay so there, there's another follow-up question can we connect this plugin with WP Funnel and Mail Mint? Uh, no, unfortunately, uh, currently we didn't have that options. So basically, we'll add that. Okay, I would also ask. I think Alberto already know know the founder very well, which is um, Flowmatic. And if you guys go and have a look, Flowmatic is an automation plugin for for WordPress. So it creates connectors and seamlessly you can do automation when something happens here and something happens there. So by doing that, you open up your opportunity a lot more. Like it can go humongous because it's an API platform. So whatever you event you want to send it through the Flowmatic, it can go to MailMint, it can go to uh, web hooks it can go to many other places so have a look i'm not saying you have to do it but what i'm saying there are opportunities there and we do know the founder alberto is very good um, right alberto yeah, yeah, yeah he was supposed to be on today but i guess he got tired. yeah because sunday is not really great for stream uh, previously i tried also uh, we have less number of attendees uh, on sundays because it's most of the places I mean, Western and, and even some of the Asian sites are Sundays or holidays. Right. Yeah. So these are the main questions. Let me see if there are anything. Um, yeah, somebody says, yes, it is like a funnel and improve user experience and conversions. Uh, so, so one of Ruhani's favorite question is, how does this affect the performance on the site? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, basically, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's basically it doesn't uh, create any effect on the performance. The performance will still remain uh, good, and uh, it's uh, uh, work uh, with the site very nicely. Okay, okay, and I, I will do a more thorough testing on this because I have some ideas. Uh, looming on my head about this product and so i'm going to go and do a testing separately so that one i i will do by myself and that will give me a better insight that how much css is being loaded or or is there any external javascript i am inside no, the no, i am please answer no 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 well but if you, if you want to if you want to uh, use this wp guidance you no need to know or you or you have not to, you need to know knowledge about 
coding knowledge no need to know coding fine please explain it properly basically no, I'm, i'm not saying about coding i'm saying when your page is loading right uh, in the front end is there any additional javascript or um, needed or is is just works on css uh it's it's yeah it's uh, uh, loading with uh, javascript basically okay okay but so we have a new uh, question fact, very uh, very simple which very, very small. little uh, okay. very small basically it's okay. so how is the compatibility with acf acf is a very popular uh, custom fields plugin yeah, it's uh, it's uh, very nicely compatible with acf fantastic fantastic uh, i'm not sure who asked this and let me go and check it facebook so besides acf and metabox do you guys have any issues mm. with i believe there's tool set there's yeah. graco blocks jet engine do you guys have any issues with any of those custom post type creators no 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 it's, it doesn't create any issues with graco block or others so as okay, long as really it has a meta field yeah. inside it will it can pull it out so Jorge uh, um, asked one of the um, not asked he gave an idea which it would be impressive it had interactions or webhooks to connect with other plugins or platforms so this is exactly what i said about flowmatic so once you connect to flowmatic it opens up webhook it opens up communicating with other platforms or even zapier or even uh public connect because flowmatic is a connector so they already have so much of connectors in there once you connect to flowmatic your world becomes suddenly so big without doing anything all you have to do is connect to uh flowmatic so i think uh we can we can introduce the founder with you guys and uh it can be done pretty fast if i'm not mistaken wow okay join i uh, you know he is a youtube star and his videos are very good um thank you for joining bro uh, <laughs> uh so he is also very deep into uh wordpress and wordpress based solutions so yes thanks for joining man i know it's a sunday and now you have new family member to take care of <laughs> yeah beautiful new baby <laughs> yeah so you should go out and check Jorge's channel so uh he he actually does very precise uh well done video uh, not much much of other things but rather staying on the topic and um, you know uh, so he he also yeah. does a lot of uh, wordpress related things so go and have a look Uh, yeah, he does a lot of the good pros and cons and the benefits of yes, using the yes. so he, he, he we'll does it in a very, and, very simple yeah, yeah. way, you know, not so much buzz here and there, but actual pros and cons and whether you need it for your business or not. And that is all sometimes people want to do. You yeah. know, they don't need and all it, this buzzing. Yeah. And it and it's very short and concise, so it's not it's not a lot of fluff that's wasting your time. It gets to the point. He does a really great job. Yeah. Look at him. He, he is going. Uh, what do you call that? Um, multitasking. Multi multitasking. Yes. True. True yeah. meaning of multitasking. Yeah. <laughs> so I I think that is most of it. And um, do you, if you got if you guys have any more questions, uh, I'm not sure Jorge will be able to ask anything because he's he got his hands full. So. Yeah. So for anybody just joining, this is a WordPress plugin that'll yeah. take either custom post type, WooCommerce items, anything you could throw at it and give you a filtering process to make it easier for customers to know exactly what product. Uh, so for example, my the other company I work for, they deal a lot with paint and they have specialized type stuff. So people may not know, hey, I want to paint my countertop, but I want to make sure what paint sticks to it. This is a great program where they can go in and say, Well, what are you using this for? Your counter type, your bathtub, etc. And then when they go through this process and easily know exactly which one 
that they need. So then they're not calling back later and saying, oh, I picked the wrong product. I want to return it. Or, hey, this damaged my my bathtub. And it's like, oh, use the wrong one. This helps them get the right one. And it makes it easier for them to go through a, a flow where they won't have any issues or make mistakes on what they're trying to pick out. I know we showed some simple stuff about like a T-shirt and um, the, the real estate, but this could be really critical if you have several products that have specific uses where clients can be picking out the wrong one and, yeah. and you want to make sure that you get them the right one at the right time. Yep, yeah, absolutely. So it, it's, it's a really good, I think it's a really good product and it, yeah. Yeah, and I, I think if you guys I, can I, add, I want to try the try the proposition and try to filter down. But before that, I need to prepare a bunch of product, not product propositions that yeah. I can filter. So then I can create that. Okay, I'm a small business. I uh, what do I need? Then you know the result comes out that okay, you can pick these five. So uh, there there is a very good approach to this, even like how Tawhid was mentioning earlier that um, uh, how to do it for software. And that will be a very unique, not unique, but very useful use case for this kind of product. And yeah, I, I can understand a lot of people are not online today, but yeah, I, I will archive this on YouTube and there will be a live cut of this video. So what live cut means is basically I will uh, shorten it down to the the most useful parts of the video and re-upload it on YouTube. Now, from my point of view, yes, I haven't gone into full usage of this product, but I have some recommendation. Why, why this recommendation? Because I'm a lazy person. I'm a lazy person. So if you give me five different tasks and is, is the same thing I have to do five different times, I will find a way not to do it five different times. So I will do it one time or two times, and the rest three times will be automatic. Now, having said that, why did I say that? It's only because to give you a context. So imagine if somebody, so this is for Nazim and Fahim. Uh, yeah, that yeah. Imagine somebody have 20,000, sorry, 5,000 product in their shop, right? And those 5,000 product, out of those 5,000, they have 100 different variations. Yeah, so yeah. for them to create these filters step by step can be a painful process. Yeah, Think about it, that's, right? that's, a, that's a problem. But uh, basically we are uh, try to, uh, we will include it, uh, include it in uh, AI related features. So it will uh, automatically uh, does that, uh, do that. So maybe, right. yeah, we will develop that. Okay, yeah. okay. So, but so, you, you you understand where I'm coming from, right? Like yeah. the pain point of yeah, the yeah. There's user. lots of variations, product variations. Mm, so mm. you have to create one single uh, filters for one single right. variation. So yeah, that that is a problem. But I think Fahim, you should talk about the AI part that um, that can help create this very uh, uh, create grouping of this product. Uh, do you want to talk a few minutes on that? Uh, basically, uh, currently we uh, didn't uh, uh, have that broad uh, research plan to include AI in our plugin, but we uh, we have that in my, in our mind. So we can't ex express it more uh, elaborately currently. So yeah, we will. Uh, okay. Okay. Notify Makes that. sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So guys, so there will be uh, AI assisting assistive process into this. So, uh, you know, your mundane task can be much more strike down into much more efficient timing for output or creating all these filters and, yeah. and funnels. So uh, anything you want to add uh, for the show before the show ending, we are at one hour mark. Um, yeah, so and, uh, have... and uh, sorry, Alberto and Nazim. Alberto, yeah, so, I, so, so I, I've used this product before it actually came out live to the market. I, I tested the demo. I saw there's been lots of great improvements to the product since it's come out. Uh, I'm even on the website so as one of the testimonials. Um, but, but yeah, I've seen the growth of this product. Can you elaborate more on 
um, more of the upcoming features or the new stuff to expect. I know for me, the big thing is calculations. If you can have it do actual type of where someone can input, hey, this is how much space I have or, or, or anything that they can input that actually says you need 20 of this product or five of this product. I know calculations would be helpful in my scenario, and I think it could be helpful in other people's scenarios as well. But I'm not sure what else you guys, I know you guys said widgets, you guys mentioned AI stuff. Are you making yeah. stuff for Divi um, specifically or or Elementor specifically or, or just Gutenberg blocks? Uh, anything that you can add of, of the future would be great. Uh, basically our uh, future, uh, that's uh, we will add on in our future updates. So we we basically uh, we have already developing some features such as social share button on search result page and uh, multi select result for uh, bug detection so and another uh, feature will be added uh, which is matching a score on result based question so basically also we are currently working on other features like auto move next filter card selection process then uses analytics using attractive graphs uh, then uh, different types of card and slider designs then guide completion progress bar and another fascinating feature will be added which is exclude a specific post or product from the result so these are right. Actually, yeah. we will we'll shortly add it. Uh, we will shortly add those features. On fine. Our Do you want to show your screen or no need? Uh, basically, I have uh, discussed uh, those. Okay. Okay. Files. Cool. All right. Sounds good. Something I forgot to ask is: it, Does it filter to a single product, or can it filter to a group of products? So, if you say I have this brand, and I want to show all my T-shirts that have this logo. Of all these colors so can you say i want this brand and then here's the 10 t-shirts that all match your requirements uh okay. or is it or is it one is it one product that it shows it's no, it's, 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 it's multiple it shows multiple results basically okay it will show, it will show various plus it will also show uh related results which are uh relevant with the main uh search main intent so that's okay. It. All right, that's about it. And uh, thank you everyone for joining. We will yeah. pick, uh, pick the winners later on and inform you guys. <clears throat> and everyone who joined, have a good day wherever you are. And thank you, um, Nazim, Fahim, yeah. for assisting yeah, thank us you. and for the audience uh, with the questions and answers. Thank you so much. Alberto, thank you so much for, for thank you guys. Yeah. Thanks everyone that joined. I appreciate it. Yeah, it really helps. appreciate it. And I know it's a it's a holiday, but you okay. still join okay. and it yeah, makes sense. Okay. I, I want to say conclusion. Like uh yeah. Yeah. Yes. okay. Okay, actually, we built this e-commerce plugin to create a seamless and delightful sh uh, shopping experience for the customers. Okay. Our main goal is the ensure flexible path that helps the customer feel their desired product within a short moment. Okay, we understand. We want to help the e-commerce website owner to make their website user friendly. As a result, customer feels satisfied while purchasing product from the store. Okay, we believe that a happy and satisfied customer is more likely to convert into loyal and long-term client. Correct. So, so, so we have we have reached the end of the of our live stream. We hope that you have got a extensive idea about our W guidance. Basically, we want to introduce you to this valuable WooCommerce plugin so that you will get no more about the functionalities and features. It will help you to implement this plugin on your online store and it's a guarantee. Also, you can make your store more efficient for the customer. And for everyone, if you have any kinds of question, you can feel free in our contact us page we have a 24-7 support system. So you can question us easily. Thank you so much, everyone. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah. It's wonderful. Right, it was, it was wonderful. <laughs> yeah.
So I will see you on the next stream. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye guys. See you.